But the best part about it, none of them. Train has wrecks been is on kick? Graffiti. Not one of them. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman. The dock is banned? Wait, I changed category, but I realized we had one left. Sniffing VR. We have a huge library of scents. Jasmine, chocolate bread, coffee. Also, of course, vomit. Wait, what? Smell of um, decomposing bodies and mm. blood. Immersive experiences just got a whole lot spicier with the addition of smell. And we decided to put it to the test. <laughs> This is Smell VR. It's being just doused in chocolate. Play that again. Well, like, would you want this? I guess it depends on what you're playing, but for the most part... Chat, imagine if you could smell pornos. I, I have heard that the set actually smells really bad, usually. <laughs> Meet Anastasia and Ivan, the power couple behind London-based startup Sentient. Together, they've invented an intoxicating new technology. The eSense, a central tracking system, triggers the release of different smells between your shoulders and nose. It can be used with a VR headset, augmented glasses, or a smartphone. Have fun playing like uh, Half Life or, and stuff. What, chat, what would be a game that you actually want this for? Or oh, cooking, like VR cooking game. Used without a screen in actual reality. So you can even smell your favorite Poop killer. Painting. Scorn, imagine a lot of scorn. Are very intrusive. So we've tried as hard as possible to design something that people Resident would Evil? Kind of forget about. Oh, you'd be smelling Dimitrescu. And it all started with a romantic story. Revenge of the Colon. South Bank. We caught a whiff of donuts. That smell reminded us of childhood and it in was... one particular place. If you ask anyone from St. Petersburg about that donut place, they'll know which donut place yeah, he talks about. It's historical. And we started talking, how would we share that experience if we were apart? Can we send a smell to each other? That conversation quite quickly, as being very technical people, escalated from hypothetical to philosophical I'd to say it technical. Got out of hand. It got Many out ways, of hand, yes. yes. So how many smells does this thing hold? Up to six is the maximum. What? We never in real life experience more than six scents within, for example, uh, 30 minutes. If you were in a video game and you go through one space to another and the scents keep changing, more than six would become so overwhelming that you will start thinking about the scent, not about the game, and it's not going to be immersive. Sounds like Before a coke to me. Device, I that think we just, should test that just sounds like they don't, they couldn't make it uh, support more than six. Some of these smells. You ready, Lou? I'm ready. I've prepared six different scents. Pick up a vial, smell it, just give it a little swoosh. Uh, you think you do, but okay. you don't. <laughs> Number A, numero one. Oh, what is that? Please don't be sick. Ooh, that's lovely. It's all right. It smells like glass cleaner. It's like a mint, but bubbly. I think I've got, I think it's lavender. They tried this in the cinemas in the 90s and everyone hated it. I can imagine. It's just not really, out of all the senses you want to like expand to, smell has to be one of the last ones. Definitely citrus. I think that's orange. With a hint of flowers. Orange, you're right. This one is looking a little stressful because it's very dark in color. Ooh. It smells like whiskey. I guess if it was whiskey, you'd just put whiskey in it though. It smells like my childhood. I'm just gonna put childhood. I it think like it will cleaner, work like if possible. weed without oh. you smoking it. What? Ooh, that's like a car. I think that might be hospital. Oh, that's grim. Lech. Oh my god, what is that? Oh. Like Why does it say gas leak or rotten eggs? Is that a similar smell? Gas leak, like uh, on your stove? Weird steak. I think that might be the rotten eggs. <laughs> Uh, oh, is that like egg? That is very realistic. <laughs> she smells like rotten egg. They put a smell... Oh, they put the smell of rotten eggs into that gas so people will notice it when they leave it on. That's smart. That's got to be decomposing body. Leather fart. As in, I think you may have used leather to get to the fart consistency. <laughs> Does it get worse and worse? Mmm, Thai curry. I'm going for D lavender. I'm changing my answer. Ooh, ooh. It smells like a Thai curry. Wow, she's good that's at this. Nice. She's good a at licorice this. licorice flower. I know that smell. That's university smell right there. <laughs> what? 
mature cheddar. That is isn't, 100%. Uh, I think like smell, okay, Chad, I might be lying what I'm about to say here, but I feel like I heard somewhere that smell is actually one of the most interconnected with our memories. Like sometimes you smell something and everything just comes back to you. Yeah. There was a smell in a building where I lived before and I still haven't quite placed it, but I feel, smell it sometimes and I'm instantly just back in that building. For certain sake. Smelly feet. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I can still smell it. Oh, it's in my nose. <laughs> it's like yum, fart yum. again. <laughs> Parmesan. Is that a decomposing body? This one, please be nice. It smells like petrol. That's all right. It smells like latex gloves. Smell memory and the hippocampus. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should quit our day jobs. Nailed it. Now for the science. What was happening in our brains during that smell test? The smell is processed in the olfactory cortex and it's very closely associated with our survival instincts. You know when you're walking down the street and you smell something that's not pleasant. Generally people either start Chat. looking for the source or try to get away Which from Which one of you smell. did it? And that's our fight or flight instinct. You know like 2,000 people watching a stream? At any given point it is guaranteed at least one of you guys just like farted. It's like non. This is non-stop. Imagine if you could somehow channel and just hear the farts from everyone watching right now. It would actually just be non-stop farting, right? Two thousand people. Yeah, that would be farts just non-stop. Somebody fart in the minibus. You don't often know how we're gonna act. So who uses this technology? One of the biggest applications of our technology is for training of <laughs> what emergency services. What the fuck? I literally just did. Smells can work in two ways. They can either be clue to the environment, adding, for example, a smell of natural gas, which is silent and invisible. I think so, okay, but I'll another guess. side of smells, sometimes they go into a place that smells really uncomfortable. Mm. That split second of a distraction might cause a life. So it's really important for them to use smells during training that are overpowering their senses to keep the focus. How do you recreate the really nasty oh, smells? Oh, bend over, chat. Chemistry. <laughs> We work with scent labs, and I also I have to alter some that. of I'll the right smells back. to make sure they're more fitting for the customer. For some of the more difficult ones, like a decomposing body, obviously we don't know what it smells like. You speak with people who do know, um, so like paramedics, for example, uh, and we've had a comment that once you're in the room, it takes like days to actually get rid of it on, on you, which is horrible, but like, okay, what does it smell like? And then we try to find something comparable. Some smells are made up of a surprising mix of notes. An old-fashioned hospital smell is mostly a smell of leather. Some people actually say, oh, this is the exact smell of the hospital that I stayed in <laughs> several years ago, and this just gives me flashbacks. I think it's about time we try it out. Oh, wow. And there is a bonfire. Oh, <laughs> I'm seeing a starry night sky. Oh, there is a tent. Stuart's in the tent, sweating. <laughs> Yeah, it's like when the fire's gone out and you're kind of getting the bit that you can smell on your clothes afterwards. Okay, when there's wind in the at night or whenever, and the bonfire's kind of blowing in your face, it's lovely. Feels like you're actually there, All like right. you're sitting down. Sorry for the non-react. Oh wow, it smells very authentic. It's really clever. I've really got the smell of like burning wood. Mm. You know what you should do. So should wait, so is it combining the scents into more scents? Combine the chocolate and the bonfire, you s'mores. could make s'mores. You're, oh. you're going to smell it now. <gasps> I'm in a chocolate factory. Someone's like putting chocolates on a conveyor belt. So it's like chocolate tree. Yep. Oh, there's like some melted chocolate being oh, mixed. That is gorgeous. Mm. Oh, there are like some truffles with like chocolate being poured over. Oh, play that again. Definitely not Cadbury's, 100% not Galaxy's. It's more like a Hershey's Cadbury's. type chocolate. Play that again. And I could just sit here what? in this loop forever, probably. That'd be quite nice. You know, it'd be nice as well if you did like a full like roast dinner. I would love a piece of that chocolate. You can't, you can't touch it. That was so cool. I have to kill the I also up. ate half of it. <laughs> God, that smells good. <laughs> it's safe to say Ivan and Anastasia have created something truly sensational. We hope that we'll become a go-to scent solutions company. Making no. virtual training accessible and enhancing it with scent, I think is one well, of the- I missed the pun, fuck, I was busy with this shit. Most important things for overall quality of training of emergency services, so everywhere is safe. 
no matter where Go to bed, you are. chat. Go back. No, that's enough. That's enough. Probably gonna be doing do more reacts later. All right, this is something Mark Thurian told me is like only a 10 minute thing. I was gonna do a uh, pro clubs practice, uh, and I still will. You'll miss the pun. What was it then? <clears throat> Go to bed. Situation one, subject A. Oh, is this like the Russian sleep? Jesus, these graphics. They're just getting more and more minimalistic, these games. All right, so I'm controlling the game with what? Arrow keys? Oh, actually... Oh, now it works. That's weird. Wasta didn't work before. Oh, oh, I'm in bed. Me, 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 me. Did you lock the front door? No. Oh, uh, should I have? I died. Okay, I understand. You have to make sure you do all the things before you go to bed. All right, so I will lock the front door. Done. Is there anything else I should think of while I'm here? Turn off the toaster, hide the knives. Look at my boyfriend. Clean the lawn. Oh, the window. Ha, one step ahead this time. Uh, wait, arm home security system. Okay, well, that should be it. I'll turn the fucking lights off. I can't. Take a knife to bed. Oh, I can hide the knives, actually. Okay. Well, I just probably beat this game instantly because I, instead of waiting to fail, I just basically covered all, 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 all of it. So this is easy speed run. Right. Ah, I can rest safe. Me, 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 me. Did you lock the front door? Yes, I did. Did you close the window? Yes, I did. And now, did you arm? Yes, I did. Did you arm the home security system? Yes, I did. He's still in. Did you hide the knives? Yes, I did. That's a fast police response. Oh. Well done, no one will get in. Next situation. Oh, I thought I beat the game there for a second. Subject B. BB, perhaps. Go to bed, go to bed. All right, chat, welcome to my crib. This is where I store my, uh, sometimes I, I don't want to go to the bathroom when I wake up in the middle of the night, so that's for that. Laundry, nothing special about that. This is my blanket, it's made out of pure marble, so it's a, it was really expensive and not very comfortable, but it looks cool. Let's hide the knives. This is my kitchen. This is where I make food. Today I had uh, a glass bottle for lunch. Just, I ate the bottle and that one's for dinner later. I'm going to arm the alarm. I'm going to lock the door. This is where my uh, cats play. But I uh, forgot to open the boxes again. Uh, close the window. This is uh, really just radiating energy for the whole place. What is this? What is this? What am I keeping down here? I don't remember. That's awkward. Uh, okay. Well, am I done then? I locked the window. Uh, yes, I did all the things. Me, 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 me. That's where Nina is. Go to bed first. Oh, am I ruining the game by being so good? Is the house secure? Yes. Is it more fun to see what happens? Are you sure? Yes. Good. What? 
Huh? Where am I? Guys, okay, welcome to my crib. This is my toilet. This is my bed. This is where the magic happens. This is, uh, used to be my, uh, belt. This is my rock collection. Hmm. Oh. Wait. I need to leave now. I found the body. Why, look. BB? Nina. Chad, I think I know what this is. Should I say or should I not spoil? I think... I am in the basement of the house that I was just in. Are those CDs? No, they're like... Is it for a dumbbell? What is that down there? I think those... They go on dumbbells. <laughs> but... Okay, I found a key. Man, the graphics in this game is just... Out of this world. Did I go the wrong way? Where was the door again? This is where I started. I think I went the wrong way. Here. Yep. Get quiet now. He's asleep. Everyone be quiet. Shh. See you soon. And remember to be good. Bye-bye. Santa, you have to keep it down. Tossy TV, thank you. Welcome back. The Roxas. I don't know if I thanked you, so thanks. I need to find my way out. All right. Well. I disarmed the alarm first, I guess. I cannot check the door. Can I check the window? What does that mean to check it, do you think? I'm not going to trigger the alarm by checking, right? Check the news. I don't think so. Okay, let's do it then. Jack in two with the nine months prime. What's up? Welcome back. It's shut. I should check it for an alarm before trying it. Well, I already know there's an alarm. Aha! It's armed. Maybe I can cut the wire with something. The knives. No uses are locked and needs a code. Well, the knives... They put away anything useful. There's no way out. Maybe back downstairs? What? No. Hang? Wait, why can't I open this door? It doesn't even say that it's locked. Why wouldn't I- ah! Oh my god. Why did I die? Wait, that was the end? Wait, you don't get to escape? It's a bit of a scam. Josef Molarzik made that game, thanks. Polska Gurom. Wait, so where, do you think there's multiple endings? Or did he just die? I, I'm not gonna replay. Okay. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we got another... Uh